All right, so this is a Tuesday, April 5th phone call to Xperity Teleradiology. So I was a patient in 2019 at an American Family Care uh, AFC clinic. And this is like something like uh, urgent care. I went into this place, uh, I was complaining of a broken skull or possibly a broken uh, neck. I saw a nurse there, uh, Kimberly Kelly. Uh, she referred me uh, to an x-ray scan. I had this done in this facility. It was uh, located uh, Parkway East, uh, Roebuck, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And then the nurse uh, stuck her head in the room and told me that I was good to go. Yeah, I had no injuries uh, in this area. So I got a copy of my records from this clinic. And um, you can see all the details about what happened to me uh, regarding this injury. And you can find them on my YouTube channel, My Medical Nightmare. I have over 15 hours of video documentation on this injury. The radiologist uh, her name is Anna Maria Ecknick, M-D-D-A-B-R, all right, and uh, her name and signature appears on this report that I received, uh, stating that I had no injuries present. So if you call the phone number below her name, you will reach this Xperity teleradiology outfit. So yeah, just briefly, the truth of my injury, okay, I had a piece of bone uh, break off the underside of my skull in 2018 and um, I went around to many uh, doctors, nurses, hospitals trying to get this thing diagnosed and treated uh, over uh, many many months uh, 2018, 2019, uh, 2020. I had a lot of problems uh, getting doctors uh, to help me out uh, looking at this thing and uh, yeah I've got a lot of evidence that uh, I may have been a victim of patient dumping so yeah in this scan what you can see contrary uh, to the uh, injury free report that I received there's about a three or four inch in diameter uh, translucent oval uh, that appears in a standard x-ray image. There's no contrast in this picture. All right, so I had some recent uh, telephone calls where I tried to contact Xperity, this uh, teleradiology outfit that this uh, doctor uh, works for. Uh, the results of this exercise are not very encouraging. I'll go ahead and issue a, a scam alert here. There seems to be an issue uh, with where uh, the responsibility for the misdiagnosis and misread of this x-ray scan lies and uh, so yeah I called Xperity and they told me I had to contact AFC I called AFC they told me no I didn't need to talk to them I needed to talk to Xperity thanks for calling Xperity Teleradiology this is Marjorie speaking how may I help you today? yes ma'am I was a patient at uh, AFC American Family Care and I had an x-ray series done and I've uh, I discovered that it was uh, analyzed by one of your doctors uh, I believe that a, a very serious injury shows up in the x-ray picture and uh, your doctor uh, wrote in her report that uh, no injury appeared and I need to try and get in touch with somebody at Xperity or this doctor uh, to have this x-ray possibly uh, looked at again if it's possible okay um, what I can do is I have to get in touch with the clinic that took those images and um, speak with them about doing a reread request and then there's no problem with getting that sent back for you. okay the the doctor uh, at Xperity they looked at the the x-ray for me I'm the patient uh, they can't uh, talk to me the patient that other facility since they're the custodians of the records and have have them give me the okay to put the reread in uh, which so only takes a second to do so uh what's the what, medical terminology
technology that they've got to give me that we're, what we're looking for, and we'll get that taken care of. So what is the uh, time frame uh, for that? Once the reinter- reinterpretation is put in, it's treated the same as a stat, which is usually 30 minutes or less, depending on volume for the day. So, so wow. It's that, like a same-day thing. It doesn't take, take long. So, wow, so this could happen today. Yeah, and I called Friday, um, somebody at Xperity, they told me that they would have the doctor uh, contact me. This would be uh, Anna Maria uh, Etnik, uh, D-A-B-R-M-D, uh, and uh, said they would call me on Saturday. I called Xperity originally on Friday, and so I did not receive a call on Saturday or Sunday or Monday, and now today is Tuesday, April 5th. So I'm, I'm trying to get this straightened out because I pay I paid money for this X-ray scan. I was misdiagnosed, and I just need uh, the party responsible uh, to just uh, properly do their job if it's possible. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is to find this record um, with it having been from a couple years ago. That's going yes. to um, yes, ma'am. might slow it up a little bit. But so, so was this May 30th? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, 2019, American Family Care, uh, Parkway, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Got it. Okay, um, I see a note on here, yes, April 1st, there was a note on here. Um, I spoke with Matthew. To, yes, that's correct. Um, I see here where uh, the request was put in for the conversation to take place, and management stepped in and said that this is something that has to be dealt with the facility, so that's where I'm going to place you on hold call the facility and get this um, reinterpretation put in for you. Um, you. You said that you think this was a misdiagnosis. Um, did you go to a different doctor and they gave you a different report? Because they're going to ask me what on this report is being disagreed with and by whom. Well, that's an interesting question because... Uh how many radiologists work for your uh, company, ma'am? I think that uh, I think I think that uh, regar- okay. I think that regardless of the fact, uh, if somebody told me uh, that an injury appeared in a photograph, or if somebody gave me permission to say an injury appeared in a in a X-ray image, uh, and an, an injury may appear in an X-ray image, it doesn't have anything to do with me. I've been to many doctors and hospitals. Okay, um, let me place you on hold and see if I can't call these folks over at Parkway and get um, some resolution for you. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, I see Parkway right here right now. This is Prince. Can I help you?